Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to the Great Whale Road. And it is year three. The Saxons kind of beat us up in the last episode. Damn, Saxons. So now we need to look at what we need. Um, so I, this is where I get confused. We got 4,751 food, food stocks. Needed for winter, 5189 of 127, 47 of... I, I think that's fine. So I think our focus can be on warfare. Like this. I don't know. I might do like that. Diplomacy. Traditions and craftsmanship. Let's see what that does. 4,700. It should be fine. If the devs are out there, I encourage them to maybe have a little look at that interface because the food planning is a bit confusing. Weather at land might be pleasant enough, but the whale road, which is the sea in case you don't know, turns into an angry and fickle beast once the leaves change colour. Right. A farm has arrived at the village from an outlying farm. He has a tooth abscess and hasn't eaten in days. There's a loud discussion in the hall how to help him. Until everyone agrees the offending tooth must be pulled out. Some probing just makes a man cry out in pain. You'll have to put him to sleep somehow. Put a sword into his hand just in case. Smash a cudgel against his head. What? Uh, yes, we'll brew him a draft. Okay, we thought he thought he died, but no, he's okay. It's all right, pulled it out. Happy lad. Pleased about that. Don't want to lose any of our farmers. A uh, trader from down south collapses in one of the outhouses while using the latrine. One of the elders reports that there's blood in his stool and he's feverish. Uh-oh, that sounds like elves. I blame the elves. They're always mischievous. She also warns blood deflux is rarely limited to one case. Oh, the gold dee of Odin is worried and wants to burn the outhouse and the trader as a cleansing sacrifice. The trader has guest rights, uh, but he argues he's been... Mm, the Goya of Freya tells you to burn the outhouse as well, but to move the trader into one of the elf stones. See? Elves! Uh, sand seas in the fire. Recommend keep the sick man... Hmm... Mm. Well, he's an old adventurer. We'll follow his advice. Small silver hoard. Well, that's helpful, isn't it? I feel kind of I'm cheating because I'm a modern human and I know the answer. I suspect the Vikings might have just burned him. I'm not quite sure what the standard treatment of the bloody flux was in Viking times. So we've got one more warrior, which is great. An absolute monstrous pile of food. Mm. Right. That's a lot. We got a Danish slave. Uh, that was the one that we liberated. Yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, what is our quest now? Blood price. You have to return to Saxon lands to extract revenge. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't. I can't do those. So I think we'll just look at these quests. I will check the map just in case. Ah. Uh, What's this place? Farming village. And a market. Can we... Five days. Can we travel there? Kind of... Can't travel there by the looks of it. We know about it. We just can't travel. Can zoom them... Oop, zoom the map out a little bit. There we go. Bremer. Hmm. Hammer. Well, I think we are going to stick with our... Uh, what's that blacksmith got? Rubbish gear. Oh, we actually have a new warband, don't we? So, where are you? Uh, this is Einar. He has a sword and a warrior coat. I don't know. Would a war axe be any better? Hmm. A long axe? No. War axe? Uh, accuracy slightly. Iron mace? Where did we pick that up? Attack six. Uh, broken... Yes, I think we'll give you an iron mace. What about... Y ceremonial bronze axe? Mm, more... Uh, yeah, yeah, more attack seems like a good idea. We got anything special for you? Uh, no, these are not great. Uh, ash spear, no, ash spear. We don't have any... Huh. Who's not got a Danish warrior's coat? 
You. Oh, uh. Uh, what is this? Uh, Huskarl armor is 2 2 2 protection against stun. No, I mean, I think the Danish warrior's coat is not quite as good as Huskarl armor. He's got this Odin's blessing. Nah, that's fine. He, that's what he likes. Okay, that's that's okay. Well, I think we're okay with that. I don't think those war weapons are that exciting. I think they make a huge difference for us. What do we got in storage? Some pelts and some dogs and some wine. Monstrous amounts of food. So I think we can just uh, set sail. Yeah, the blacksmith's got nothing for us. Right, return to Hummer. Um, who do we add? Attack four, six. Attack six. Yeah, with your awesome axe, Floki, you can come with us. Load goods. We will need a bunch of food again. Uh, what do we need, a, need last time? I think four, 30 or 40 will do the trick. We will be able to pick up some more, I suspect. And some things to repair with. Oh, five more. Yep, tools and food. Onwards. I just noticed one of them was very depressed. Never mind. Uh, Sander Sexy has sent a messenger north who finds you camped on a small island. He asks you to travel further south to gather information at a place called Erminasul. The shrine is the religious center for all the northern Saxon tribes, and their priests have a lot of influence. You cannot fight all the Saxon tribes, but maybe you can find out who was the driving force behind the attack. You would oppose us warrior merchants from Getland who have heard of this shrine and decided to stop there on their way to Dorstad. I would have thought all of our Vikingness would have shone through. But never mind. Why are you so sad, pal? Cheer up. Uh, Aruxum. No, let's keep going. We're just going to have to tough it out, Vikings. I don't want to spend forever staring at this map. No, keep going. Maybe we'll stop at the next one. Yes, we know. Keep sailing, keep sailing, keep sailing. We've got places to go, people to kill. Okay, you notice a sudden change in the water color. Rocks. Ah, yes, yes. Well, we know what to do here. Back pedal. Back paddle. Pedal. Pedal the paddles. Uh, reverse oars. Stop. Lost some speed, but avoided the rocks. Good. Huh. But then we got our speed back. Okay. Nighttime comes. Uh, Saxon dogs bark and bite. Yes, let's camp there. I want our dude to get a bit more cheerful. He's very grumpy, our visitor. Maybe a night in a Saxon tavern will, will cheer him up a bit. Um, tavern. Yes, you, Mr. Grump. And us. And, oh, you guys all might as well come. Yeah, feast it up. And stay overnight. A Dane covered in scars waves a greeting, asked how you fared since the battle. Yep, another nod. So many of these Danes are happy to give us wine and to remember battles with us. Blacksmith, got anything? Mmm. No. Nothing I really want. That's fine. Everyone's feeling more cheerful? Good, so sail. Get on with it. Let's get down there. Let's get to those damn blimmin' foreigners. This is the part that's really slow. I might just skip it so we get there in time. I'll let you know if any interesting events pop up. Well, let's finish this one first. A quick glance at the horizon shows a sleek longship. Uh, we can take them. No, let's fight them. Yeah. Fight. Fight. Javelins and arrows, that's fine. We'll fight them. We'll sort them out. So, okay, Floki. Oh, good. We've got two of them straight up off the bat. So, down you plop. And Floki, down you plop here, shuffle that one away till fifth turn. Actually, I kind of want to sneak in. No. Oh, wrong click. Can I do kind of want to sneak in behind the good guys. Um, no, never mind. Round one. How many are they going to get down? Okay. Uh, wow. 
Danish war cry. Oh, killer of men. Don't need it. And don't need that war cry and don't need that one either. So, what are we looking at here? One, two. I just want to move like this. Let them get... Okay, we're going to just sit defensive this turn and get, get Bearer up. I think he might be able to reach us an attack. She's not got much defense at all. I guess that's the defendy thing. Not much decent armor. We'll have to sort that out as soon as we can. More things I can't use. Okay, they're playing these Saxons down on us. Uh, oh, look at them. So many Saxons. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get rid of these rubbish cards. Go, go, go. Um. No, oh, no. <sighs> okay, well. We're going to lure them into a trap. That's my plan. Rather than misclicking. That, that wasn't a misclick. It was a, a very carefully laid plan to trap them. Oh, good. I know. Helpful. I know the lucky will come. Jumped over. This is all working brilliantly. This is exactly as I had intended. Alright, so I now go here. And it's... <sighs> no, throw away. Throw away. So, I now... You go here and smash this, this young lady. Don't feel too bad. She's trying to hurt us. Whoa! Oh! Oh! I know. Oh, you you bad person, you. I feel a little bit guilty, I must confess. Um, yeah. Oh, that was enough. <laughs> the old man didn't do that much, but it was enough. Um, yeah, get over there. Give him a bit of a surprising over there. You hop there, Bearer, and stay alive. All right, now we can get some decent cards. Oh, great. All of these will be helpful. What are you... Oh, you're just two defense. That was kind of weird. Oh, ow. Oof. Okay, that's fine. Ow, oh, whoa, he... Wow. I know, you poor chap. You don't worry. I know, we'll have you. So, bloodied warrior. Veteran warrior. And a bloodied warrior. Uh, can we stack? We'll find out. I think we can, by the looks of it. Take him. Uh, yes, just... Bam! Whoa! Yes! Wow, eight hit points. How much has he got? Oh, he's got lots. Uh, come here. And from behind. That should be worth something. Apparently not. Um, 89. Whoosh. Oh, and toasted. Killed. One. Brilliant. What do we get for it? Just a good time? No, oh, I didn't even seem to get anything for it. Oh well, I enjoyed it. So yes, I think we will skip until we hit Hummer. Otherwise we'll be staring at this guy for longer. Okay, so bad news everyone. I've been hit with a game-ending bug. I've heard from the developers that they've just patched it, but it has unfortunately hit me right, right in the game right now. And the game-ending bug is that I cannot see any events. You can see the kind of text pop up telling me about the event but the actual uh, event text isn't clickable and my progress on the map is stuck. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, can't do much about that right now. Really enjoyed playing the Whale Road. I think I'll call the series to an end here. I think you get the idea. If you've enjoyed it then, then do keep an eye on it on Steam. Uh, this bug has been quashed and I'm sure they're crushing left and right you know, many other bugs. So I think it's going to be a quite cool game when it finally drops. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope to catch you soon in the next videos that I do. Whatever that may be. Thank you very much. Good night.